My name is Kyle Steed. I am an artist based here in Dallas, Texas. We're in my studio right now. So I'm excited. This project with Warby Parker has been over a year in the works. They reached out to me early 2020. COVID happens and everything just got put on hold. This project got put on pause. I'm very thankful they circled back beginning of this year, 2021, to re-engage. So I'm very thankful that while some jobs kind of got sidetracked or actually got canceled last year, this project with Warby Parker was one of the few that started before. So it's been over a year in the works, right? So fast forward to beginning of this year and it was go time pretty much. Like we were, Warby was ready to re-engage. We were ready and started looking at summer opening. So I really began the concepting around April. So I'll go back. I first caught wind of Warby Parker doing cool mural projects probably in LA four or five years ago. And I got to see the one in Venice and it just really captivated me because it was so simple, but I also knew it was elevated. So they were really paying attention and they were being very uh, curated with their artists. So kind of from that point, I've been dreaming about working with Warby Parker. They have an existing store here in Dallas and what they're doing is they're moving it closer to a more highly trafficked area. So we're talking about right off of I-75 and Knox Henderson. Um, great intersection, food, shopping. So this is really one, it's not even, you make a right turn and boom, like you're, you're seeing, like you're already gonna see this when you're coming off the freeway. It's gonna have that much of a physical presence. So the building that we're getting into is a cool corner spot and it's just gonna be a full, just color explosion. The concept for this piece is really wrapped up around two things. One, I think the difficulty in all its many facets and ways that last year presented us with, and two, the renewal of energy I find around engaging people again face to face. Um, being around people, being in the community. And to me, that's so life-giving. I feel like there's so much goodness out of that, that um, I wanted to make a piece that kind of at least acknowledged that we've been through this really hard time. And now that it feels like, I don't know, I hate to use the word normal, but in some sense of the way that we're feeling more comfortable, maybe a little more confident to put ourselves out in public and be around people again. So this really celebrates that. The people, the faces that I've chosen um, in the design, there's this relationship happening. There's this conversation happening. There's um, just this general sense of the goodness that comes uh, when we're around people. It's definitely an honor when I'm giving so much creative freedom from a brand like Warby Parker, who I feel is very respected, made a great name for themselves, very well established. So I'm really excited to be a part of their continued efforts to support artists, to work with artists, and to really make a strong statement whenever they open a new store. I, I mean, I think that takes courage. I think that's a really brave move to say we're here and also we're going to give you something back to the visual appeal of our store you know it's not just about signage it's not just about like what cool building are they in but it really highlights it really sets a tone for a place bringing in artists to create not just a warby parker style but to truly create their own sense of style and so that for me feels very exciting to my mark on this new story.